Samantha, are you there? You have started recording, good. Then I will dive straight in. I'm going to talk about the series SWT narrowband IPL platform. And let's see. So I will start out talking about hair removal. In hair removal, we do have uh, nice options with the three end pieces HR, HRD, uh, and HRL. But let's first talk about the system. Why Sirius? Well, Sirius is like the other uh, IPL systems built on uh, a legacy of excellence and expertise. Ellipse IPL was originally introduced in 1997 and it had the patented dual mode filtering. Later, we added on the long life applicators with virtual lifetime warranty, <clears throat> excuse me. And the systems have always been low noise systems to ensure a more comfortable environment for the patient and for the user. If we look out to the side, we have the original ellipse system from 1997. Uh, as, as you can see, they have changed a lot until what we have today. So 20 years later, we have a multi uh, application platform. It's two decades of continuous innovation. We have placed more than 6,500 systems installed since the introduction. And then uh, we have presence in 60 plus countries worldwide. So why do we need a multiple platform and why do we want to do hair removal? Well, light assisted hair removal, as uh, we can see, is still growing. It makes up 39% of all energy based treatments. 52% of the population is considering Hair removal. In emerging market, it's 46% increase since 2000. So there is a lot of potential in the hair removal. Choice of applicators. We have got HR for the lighter skin, HRL. HRD for the darker skin, then we have VL555 and VLS555 for skin rejuvenation or facial thread vents. The key features in the series is the dual mode filter, the no need for cooling, the treats a full back in 10 minutes, clinical intelligence, noise free system, virtual lifetime guarantee on the applicators and economic lightweight applicators. A recap on the broadband versus narrow band. The broadband came out in 1992. The narrow band from Ellipse with the HR came out in 1997. The big difference here is if we move on, is that we can see here that standard IPLs have a high absorption in the water, creates a lot of heat and need for cooling. Whereas the Ellipse IPL does not have any uh, absorption in water. This is the reason why we do not need cooling. Looking at where hair removal lasers are placed, we can also see that the HR handpiece covers quite well the area of Ruby, which is not really used that much for hair removal anymore, Alexandrite and diode lasers. We also have the possibility of changing the filter here at the lower end so we can go to 645 and thereby we can uh, treat darker skin. When we apply the applicator, we apply it with pressure. This is only valid for hair removal. It shortens the distance to the target. It flattens the target, as we can see here. It blanches the skin. Uh, are being 
squeezed empty of blood leaves a clear footprint in the gel so that we can overlap one millimeter and uh, thereby reduce the risk of missing a part it reduces pain and then it increases the uh, operator comfort we often hear but hair removal does it really work with ipl and yes it does if you look at this this is a study from nine 1999, so it's a low, old study you would consider. And here, Dr. Trollius, she did a study on the bikini line. She did four treatments, one month interval, and then she did a seven months follow up. She called in the patients three and a half years later to do a recount. And there was no statistical difference in the 80.2% reduction that she originally found in the study. We also had to try it out on darker skin. So in Korea, it was tested on axillary hair removal. And here they found in this study that treating skin type four to six with this applicator, the HRD rather than the HR. 600 is preferred. It reduces the risk of side effect and increases the clearance from 52.8 to 83.4%. We've also looked at comparing it with other systems. Here it's compared with a Alexandrite from a Korean manufacturer. There is also statistically very little difference interesting thing is that they in the study call it similar but they use a three millisecond pulse and we are using a 40 millisecond pulse they're using a 40 millisecond pulse for all the treatments and we know with the ellipse and with other ipl systems that we do need to reduce the pulse time as we go through the treatments to maximize the effect. So if we look here and say there's great improvement in both, but if we had used the ellipse correctly, we would possibly have had an even better result. Long pulse, they call it, and then they use a three millisecond. That's not long pulse, according to uh, my book. And then we have the reminder here on the longer pulse and how we should shorten it. Uh, which applicator to use for different skin types? I would recommend to use skin type 1 to 3, the HR, and 4 to 6, the HRD. Can we use the HRD for a lighter skin type? Yes, but it will not give us a good result because there is insufficient amount of melanin in the hair. Could we use a HR on a skin type 4 or 5? Yes, with increased risk. So therefore, it's recommended to use the HRD. The HRD, incidentally, is the only applicator that is approved to treat skin types. If we go over to uh, skin resurfacing or skin rejuvenation, sorry, and facial uh, thread veins, then we can do it with the BL or BLS. They, that's specifically for skin type 1 to 4. Do not treat skin type 5 and 6. Now, when we're talking about improvements on systems, and if those of you that have worked with ellipse systems over the years will notice that there has been an improvement for each generation. And I'd like to highlight the ones that's come out here with the Sirius. The movable arm and tray, cup holders, for gels, and other things, where that's been a request from many users over the years. It's now available here. We've also moved the applicators to the front of the system. Uh, so they have, you have easy access with the applicators placed right next to the display. Then we have one symbol uh, connector, uh, unlike with the earlier versions where there was three connectors for each applicator. And then we have virtual lifetime guarantee on the applicator. 
an overview of the system for those of you who have not yet seen it. There we have the display. Up here, we see what type of treatment we're doing. And there is a number of credits left on the dongle. Then we have the patient information. We have the energy. The number of shots done. The pulse, where you can see the shape of the pulse, the energy, and uh, the pulse duration. The thickness of hair. Then we have some uh, technical information here where we can actually go in and shorten the interval between shots or prolong it. Then we have indication of readiness and then we can write comments. Over here we have the, the buttons that access the patient database, the treatment settings, technical page and so on. Down here, we will get information uh, if the system is when the system is ready or if there is a need for you to change something. Now, customizing treatments through the change of applicators has been a solution that we have worked for all the time. There are some systems that work with one applicator, many filters but these filters will wear down and the systems today are not clever enough to tell you when you need to change the filter so you risk using a filter which is defective we've always gone by one filter one applicator and we then today have also increased the size here when we're talking hrl you have one that's practically double size and for the vl you'll also have one which is much smaller which is easier to work on younger um, patients or when you're treating just around the nose and so on. the two nice ones out here the yellow and the blue are not available for serious that's just for the noilers using a bit spot size will help us increase the penetration depth have here a small spot size and you can see that the light once it scatters in the skin is very dense here there is sufficient energy to destroy your target out here it's not dense enough and we can also estimate a depth of the skin where the light will penetrate if i take a bigger spot i will have much more useful light the ratio comes much better compared to the not useful light. I will cover the treatment area better. There will be fewer overlaps and I will ultimately get a more homogeneous result than with a smaller spot size. Then we have to consider the growth phases where we know that we can treat an antigen. Antigen exogentilogen is not good for treatment. So we're just treating an antigen which also we need a number of treatments. Remember that hair follicles are generally placed three and three together, could be two and two, could be four, and sharing a common shaft in the skin. You will see that when you look at, the, for instance, the hair on your arm, that occasionally there are two hairs coming out exactly the same place. Wait two weeks, look again, and then there is only one. So one was an antigen, one was in catagen. Looking at the actual applicators, there we have uh, what we can do with HR. One, two, three, four, and five with caution. Do not treat six. The HRD is not optimal for one, two, three, and then it's good for four, five, and six. We have the difference in pulse times that's used between the two hand pieces here. So that we, with the darker skin type one, is you are using a longer pulse time. That is all set up by the system. So you don't have to consider how to change it if you select the thickness of hair correctly. 
So due to the clinical intelligence, all you need to type in is hair removal, skin type, degree of suntan, target size, and the system will then calculate pulse time and energy. For those of you who have worked with el ellipse systems in the past, you will also know that you do need to increase the energy based on skin reaction to optimize your result. So for SWT narrowband IPL hair reduction, we have now got studies that show up to 80% reduction of hair after a series of sessions. Remember that. Patients should be informed of all possible outcomes prior to the treatment. And the series will not treat white, blonde, or gray hairs. That's also a very important factor here. I said before that I could treat with the new system, I could treat a man's back in less than 10 minutes. So I'd like to show you how it's done. The fact that it says no lose here and not serious doesn't make a difference because the speed of the two systems are the same. Here we have the Multiflex, which was the previous system before Norlus and Sirius. But let's get the video started. Here we go. Note that we here are using 15 joules and 20 millisecond pulse duration, so it's medium hair that we're treating. And we're using 15. We could go higher, yeah, sure. Uh, in some cases, you might also go lower, but for this patient, the 15 seemed to get a good response. We are in this shooting 50 shots with each applicator. That's 25% of the man's back. So the ultimate time that we are going to show up here, you have to multiply by four, then you have the actual treatment time. So for the series, that would be one minute and seven seconds. So when I said that we can treat a man's back in less than 10 minutes, you're not exaggerating. We will also see that the multiflex and the series here would, the series would be 40% faster. Now, I'd like to bring something up with suntan because we are moving into spring, at least here in Europe, and suntan will become an issue. We have now taken a picture here of a patient. This is the t-shirt mark on his arm. He likes to go bicycling and has not been very good with the sun protection cream. Then a single test shot was fired across here to show how normal skin react and how the recent tan skin reacts. This is after 10 minutes. Here you have it after 10 hours, after four days. So it is very important that we do not treat recent suntan. Here is 10 days and here's three months. So yes, it became nice, but you can imagine that if you had a client where you had treated on the arm or leg, the whole area, you would not be uh, as a very professional person. Now, the clinical results that we're looking for post-treatment is a general erythema or, in some cases, a follicular erythema and edema. The result that we get from the hair removal is like here we have before the young female, and this is after five sessions. The axilla before and after four sessions. The man's back here. I treated him five times on one side and not on the other. Apart from the, I did an original test here to see that it was working well. 
did that because on men's back we do have issues especially if the men have got a an elevated uh, testosterone level so men to be concerned about before you start treatment is men that got hairy very early in life or men that in a young age have receding hairlines you need to definitely do test shot on those the series has the additional option of doing skin rejuvenation or facial thread bank there we had uh, from Harui Suzuki in Japan, where she tested out compared to a standard IPL. And she found that the ellipse narrow band IPL using the dual mode filter requires fewer treatments with lower energy to rejuvenate the skin compared to broadband IPL. Here we have skin rejuvenation on the back of a hand, single treatment. Here yeah, the face, two treatments. Two treatments on the face of this Japanese lady. And then we have facial thread veins here before and after four treatments. So with serious versus knowledge, because we always talk about what is better, what is not, you have to remember that both are narrow band IPLs. The serious does not have expert mode, short pulse capability. It doesn't accept the IPL handpieces that we talked about, and it does not have laser capability. But if you're doing hair removal, or if you're doing skin rejuvenation or facial thread veins, then the series system could be a very good option. Oops, sorry. We now have, with the Gentlemax, we have the best uh, laser, and with the Ellipse SWT, we have the best hair removal uh, solutions. We can add the VL and VLS for skin rejuvenation. And then we have to have to horse determine your interest, your facial, your financial capability. And remember always that the series will cost less than the Gentle Max Pro if that is what you were looking at. The series take home message narrow band IPL, also we call it SWT. Selective wave band technology. It has no water absorption, so no longer wavelengths than 950. Low energy applied to the skin. There's no need for cooling of the skin. No vessel constriction caused by the cooling. It's got automatic storage of the client data in the database got virtual lifetime guarantee of applicators the hrl with the footprint of 8.64 centimeters square only takes 10 minutes to treat a man's back the hrd645 is the only ipl applicator that's approved for skin type 6 the vl555 and vls555 more skin rejuvenation and facial threat veins will elevate the system to the next level should you wish to move that way. It has got remote assistant through the Wi-Fi, which means that it will give technical status report to the cloud so that the engineers can follow your system and see what is the status of your system. Your system can actually ask for help or you may know that it needs it. And just to make you feel at ease, it will not be able to transfer any client data to the cloud, only technical information. And as I talked about several times, the virtual lifetime guarantee on the applicators will ensure a low running cost so that you are not getting any surprises. That concludes my presentation. I would like to take any questions if there are any questions at the moment. So let's switch over and see. Any Q and A's?
Thank you all for attending. If you have any questions, you can fill in your question in the Q&A box. I got a question here. They can't find the Q&A box. So the Q&A box should be if you go up to the top, there's that orange where you can then get a list and there's something called more. You press on more, you get Q&A. Did that help? Can you find it? Yes, I have a question here. Uh... Eunice is asking she wants to use, choose a system for hair removal. Which system should she choose? Well, it depends, I would say, what are you doing today? So you need to look in and what are you doing today? And then uh, you can find out, are you just going to do hair removal? Uh, are you potentially going to do something else? I'm, of course, client, uh, inclined to choose the uh, dual mode uh, IPL from uh, either the series or the knowledge. But you have to look into what your business model is and discuss that with the uh, with the Candela uh, representative in your country. Then they can better guide you to what would be the best option for you. Did that answer your question? Got another question. Can you explain a bit further the reason why no cooling has been adapted to the systems? Yes, uh, I will just uh, see if I can go back here uh, because there is actually a very good explanation for that. If we go back to our, oh, there we go. If we go back here, we can see that a standard IPL has a cutoff filter from 590 or whatever and then it goes up to 1200 and if we look at the absorption curve then we have the absorption of melanin we have the absorption of oxyhemoglobin and we have the absorption of water and since the human body is made up from 80 percent water we would easily have a very very high amount of heat unspecific heat in that water and that means that the client or the patient would become really hot. It's very uncomfortable. So therefore, these type of IPLs, they have contact cooling. You see it on diode lasers as well, because they're also heating much more than is needed. Therefore, they will need contact cooling. Now, with the uh, ellipse IPL, we are cutting here at 950. That means that all the energy that would be absorbed in the water in the skin is never applied to the skin. If we look at it in rough figures and say, I would use 15 joules with the ellipse system, then you would need at least 30 joules because you also have to account for the energy that you use here with the standard IPL. So we're using less energy and we're using the energy just where it matters for what we want to do here. It's melanin for the, for the hair, no heating of the uh, water and also no heating in the hemoglobin. Remember, we also had the additional thing that we squeezed and thereby emptied any hemoglobin out of the area. Did that answer your question? You there, Samantha? Yes, but there's there are a bit more questions in the Q and A. Jens, are you seeing them? I, I'm seeing the number of questions. I'm not seeing the questions, so I'll have to get you okay. to. Okay. So, and help. how long 
time between treatment of hair removal? It really depends on the area of the body that we are treating. If I treat face, uh, axilla, bikini line, I prefer to use six to eight weeks. If I'm treating arms, chest and back, I prefer to use three months. If I'm treating legs, I prefer two months between treatment one and treatment two, and then I'd like to extend that to three to four months uh, between the following uh, treatments. And that is because of the growth cycle of the hair. So it's got nothing to do with the machine. It's got to do with how is the growth cycle of the hair in the different uh, anatomic sites. Thank you. Uh, can you use VL555 on skin type 5 and 6, maybe with lower power setting? No. That is not recommended. Uh, if you went lower power setting, let's say that you thought you could do it with lower power setting, then you would have still have all of the energy, practically all of the energy absorbed in the upper layer of the skin. So you would get no penetration into the skin. Uh, if you go up in energy where you get the penetration into the skin, you are burning the epidermis. So that's why it's not recommended for uh, epidermis on or for treating uh, skin type five to six. The system will not, if you wanted to enter a skin type five and six, it will simply not give you enough energy. It'll just turn down the energy and say, I can't treat. And another question, yeah, go ahead. how to choose the hair size? I go by a man's beard that's thick. If you take uh, the hair on most body hair, initially would probably be medium. <laughs> And then you have the finer hair than that. If you look on arms, you generally have a combination of what I would call medium and thin. You treat medium first, and then you treat thin later. What I see that some people make the mistake of taking vellus hair and call them thin. The vellus hair, that's not thin hair. Vellus hair is non treatable. We are just treating terminal hair, just like with any other laser or IPL system. Did that answer your question? I get many thank yous in the chat function. And mm -hmm. another question on uh, from Alan, treatment of telangstesia and sport wine st stain need topical anesthesia? Could you pass that again? I just cracked up. Could you say it again? The question, please. Treatment of the langstasia and port wine stain need yeah. topical anesthesia? No. Nope. Uh, I do not recommend it because, depending again what topical anesthesia you're using, EMLA was a favorite in the past, but EMLA causes vessel constriction, and thereby your target is gone. The other thing is, if you use topical anesthesia, you do not get that feedback from the patient on how does it feel. And if there had been some dirt on the skin that you had not noticed, it could be a hair, it could be something else. You won't get a feedback from the patient that you've treated it, and then you could risk a side effect. So, so I don't like to use it, and it is not necessary. You can, if you choose, use it. But what I've done in the past is if I've had a specific sensitive patient, then I've said, um, before you come next time, take two paracetamols. Does it work? No. But the effect of the patient feeling that they have done something is very, very powerful. Did that answer your question?
Yes, I only see one other question. Can you describe the square pools? Yes, the square pools is a, if, if you imagine that you have a power bank, so you're charging up, you put a lamp on it, then you will immediately discharge it. So you will have a lamp that uses a lot of power, and then when there's almost no power left on your power bank, then there's not much light in the lamp. That's not a square pulse. Square pulse is that you switch on the lamp, and when you switch it off, then you have had exactly the same power in the lamp during the duration of the pulse. That is what we have with the Sirius. When we press the button and fire, if we have a 15 millisecond pulse, from millisecond number one to millisecond number 15, there is exactly the same power in the lamp. Why does it matter? It matters because when you have a lamp, if you imagine that you have a lamp in your living room and you have a dimmer, if you turn it up to maximum, the light is white. When you turn it down, the light becomes more yellow. So that means that the spectral distribution, the, the actual wavelength that comes out of the lamp is different. So if you have an IPL system that does not have a square pulse, then you actually have a different spectral distribution millisecond by millisecond through the lifetime of the pulse. And that means it becomes very difficult to really know the, 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 you don't have complete control of the setting. Whereas when you have a square pulse, then you have exactly the same spectral distribution, millisecond by millisecond, and there it's much easier to do reproducible results. And you don't need to go extra aggressively in the energy to make up for the part at the beginning or at the end that you would be lacking out on. Does that answer your question? see a follow-up question what is yes. the end point of treating telangiectasia and redness for redness we would like to see a spasm in the vessels just after the shock you don't always see it but then you need the patient or client to feel tingling sensation after the when you're seeing telangiectasias, individual telangiectasias, then we would like to see a color change or a spasm in the vessel lasting about uh, one second or less. So you do the shot, you move the applicator and you look. Can you shoot a second time? Yes, if the skin is not red after five minutes. Then you, after five minutes, could do a second but you can't do a third shot. So if you do it the first shot and the energy is too low, you're after five minutes, it's still good, but you didn't see a reaction, then you can increase your energy and do a second shot. Don't do a third. Did that answer the question? I get a lot of thank yous and a great example given. Yes, and also from Alan, thanks a lot. I think that uh, I don't see any further questions. No, no further questions, uh, Jens. So this concludes then the webinar. Thank you all for joining. Thank you, Jens. And uh, thank you for participating. Yes. Have a nice day, everyone. Have a nice day.